Ayan, good morning everyone! Gandang umaga po, it's a very beautiful Thursday. Magandang Webes po sa inyong lahat. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about um, the hot topic. I posted this early in the morning uh, about um, President Duterte declaring that he will not follow China's demands against POGOs. Um, so that's gonna be hot for today. We're expecting POGO stocks to rise. Isa na yan, si Meg na nirecommend ko, sabi ko sa inyo, bodegahin nyo na. Um, I forgot, was that early this week? Or was that last week? Na bodegahin nyo na si Meg. And congratulations, if aakit man yan today, or most probably will. Because that is the reason bakit nahihirapan umakyat si, uh, what they call it, si PSEI. Isa yan sa rason bakit nahihirapan umakyat si PSEI. Because of the POGO. Um, uh, ban by China. Ano ba yan? Pag-usapan natin yan later on. No, it's affecting the market. Okay? The plus, dumagdag pa yung trade wars ni President Trump at ni China. Kaya nahihirapan talaga ang market. But this development is very good. Okay? Very, very good. Um, we'll talk more about that in a bit while we wait for the audience. Uh, program topics will officially start at 8. 40, um, no, not 8.40, 8.20. Ngayon, medyo maaga tayo ngayon. I'm gonna be joining a seminar uh, which is gonna be improving our services to you guys. Yan, mga services na Financial Freedom 101 uh, keeps on improving and yun po to join natin seminar today. Um, asa na ako? Okay. Akit ko lang konti microphone. Uh, let's go to the comments of everyone. Let's check out the comments. Eh, tabi ko lang lahat. And Carlo Turingan, good morning. Chris Canilan, good morning. Sir Lloyd Juvi, good morning. Morning din, Erin Star. William Sinanggot. No, Sinanggot. Alright, good morning. Hops, good morning. Alan Cruz, good morning po, Sir Lloyd. Ano po connection ng Pogo sa property stocks na FLI po, sir? Alright. Very good question from Alan Cruz. And anyways, konti lang naman ang ano. Konti lang ang viewers natin ngayon. Um, people can always replay this naman. Um, affected din si FLI and majority of the property stocks. Bakit po? Because these offshore companies, ito yung mga offshore na gaming companies, yan yung pinapastop ni China kasi karamihan dyan sa mga, mga nagtatrabaho Chinese tapos grabe ang um, ang ang ah, dyan uh, pinagdadaanan ng mga Chinese uh, ng mga empl em employees right? parang slavery na yan dyan. plus number two, maraming perang lumala um, from the China uh, from China na lumalabas through these online gamings kaya nawawala ng pera si China through that and ayun, um, yan yung uh, yan yung ano, uh, also it, it really ano, it, 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 it encourages gambling in China, that's why China wants it stopped in our country Kaya, yun, um, pumunta si President Duterte sa sa China to talk about it. And good thing naman, hindi niya itutuloy. Right? Why is FLI affected? Majority of these offshore gaming companies are nakalisian. And these are very big companies. Nakita niyo po dyan sa ano? Um, nakita niyo po dyan sa Manila, yung mga Novo Hotel, yung mga naka-gold na building. Tapos ang daming, uh, ang daming, uh, ang daming um, hotels na sa isang building lang. Parang ganun yung Pogo kasi eh. Sila FLI. Meron sila mga structures. And then offline gaming, uh, offline gaming na mga, uh, na mga companies are renting them out. And this is very big. Ang laki ng renta mawawala ng mga property companies. Kasi isa sa mga uh, kinikita nila is through rentals. ba Hindi lang for developing um, uh, uh, lands. Uh, house and land. Hindi lang ganun and condominiums. They have properties for rent and majority of these companies uh, are renting um, de them. Kaya kung ma-closed out sila, ang laki ng rentals na mawawala ng mga property stocks especially. Yan, fill invest yung tinata tinatanong ni Alan Cruz. That's why it's very, it's affecting property uh, property stocks much. Okay, Bianca Colleen, good morning. Coach Lloyd, good morning then. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Have a blessed day ahead. Thank you. Uh, Hop, sir, NRCP po, chart request, NRCP, pinagbobadege ko na yan this week. Um, check natin, NRCP, NRCP. Alright, so, yeah, it's still a buy for me as long as the support holds for NRCP. We are playing at a very strong support level. 
So, I'm recommending NRCP, right? I recommend ko pa rin yan si NRCP right there. Um, we're playing into very good support. So, bodega pa rin. Still good to go. AA Pontino, good morning. Um, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Aris de la Peña, good morning. Sir, po, Sir ISM at JFC po, more power. God bless. Uy, si ISM, hopefully, nakapag-tick profit si mo, nakapag-bodega kahapon. Um, I mean, not, nakap- um, nakapag-tick profits kay kahapon. Pero yung mga nakapag-bodega, noon ko pa um, sinasabi yan, even recommended ISM this week before siya umakyat. So I hope nakabag bili kayo when I recommended it or when I kept telling you that just keep buying the dips and it spiked yesterday. We're expecting further spike on our uptrend the next coming months. Now that um, operation is now nearing, okay? That should hype the stock up and hopefully nakabag bedega na kayo. And daming na FOMO kapon, and daming na inget kay ISM. So and daming na ipit dito sa taas sumabot ng 6 pesos so lak- malaki laking ipit yon but that's okay na no, maakit pa rin naman ng stocks what you just do if ever ipit kayo bumili lang kayo ng mas marami sa baba because we're expecting the stock to really go up um, uh, while it's competing with the third telco ayun um and then JFC so again congratulations sa mga ISM mga nag take profits kahapon JFC um, just wait for the bounce for JFC. Pag nag-bounce yan, that will be a good signal. We have good price action right here. Pataas yung buying natin pag nag-green yan today. Also, um, it did att- um, meron nga lang tayong resistance dito. Um, hopefully, makabreakout yan. That's a, uh, that's a, that's a clear cut a confirmation na okay na bilhin talaga si JFC. But ang ginagawa ko yung JFC, pag nag-dip, binibili ko lang eh. Um... It broke ME20, so this is already a positive signal that the, down, that the downtrend is um, finished. So this is a definitely a buy, uh, a buy position for us, especially sa mga naglo long term. Can it, Deo Cariza? Gaano kalaki po sa tingin niyo yung effect ng news about Pogo to the stock market? Gaano kalaki? Um, let's look at Meg. Um, Meg has been doing well, but since the Pogo issue, look at the drop of Meg. Alright, that dropped 27% when the Pogo issue started. So, ayun, um, even if Meg is doing well, 17% for the second quarter, ang ganda pa rin ang earnings na mga yan. So, very consistent, pero nag-drop siya because of the Pogo uh, Pogo news. So, we're expecting for it to recover. right? Recovery po yung expect natin. Um, tignan natin mamaya. I don't think I can reach at 9 o'clock, pero tignan nyo po later. Hopefully, makapasok pa kayo, but I already recommended Meg na bodegahin nyo dito pa lang sa unang green niya ba sabi ko sa inyo bodegahin nyo na po yan um, yeah pacheck po Alco and Web salamat po Web most probably is gonna be going up today part of the Pogo um, spike is Web so I'm recommending Web also for today most probably is gonna go up again we are at low levels dapat binobodegahin nyo na yan sa Web Alco, one of my favorite companies, uh, recommended Alco to na i-bodega ninyo dito. Still still doing well. Just keep buying more or pag nag-green yan today, if hindi kayo nakapasok, pwede nyo pong bilhin yan si Alco. That's a good company. Good uh, good morning, sir. Ano pong insights kay PPG? Yeah, we talked about PPG the other day and yesterday because we uh, were looking at this support right here and umakit na siya. So, we're, uh, we're hitting a uh, pullback for PPG. Next, best entry is a bounce for PPG kung gusto nyo pong pumasok dyan. I don't like to play these kinds of position anymore. This is very tricky. Um, best you can do here is at least follow the uptrend line na lang ni PPG. Right? Ayoko maglaro ng ganito mga stocks. Usually, hinahanap ko yung mga magandang company na nasa baba. Right? I've been teaching you that from ever since for the longest time. And I hope I've, you've understood the system that I am teaching you already. Speaking of the system, I'll be teaching more about it uh, sa Manila. I'll be in Manila on September 29. The venue is still being arranged. And po, um, but it's going to be on September 29. There will be two sessions, morning and the afternoon. Um, I-block nyo na po yung date. We'll be posting more about it most probably by the end of the week para sa venue. Most probably, I'm hotel pa rin. Um, because that's the last venue that we had our seminar. It was a good venue. But we could change. But So, hindi po sure. But still, it's in Manila. So, those who, are, who wants to learn how to trade, join us September 29. Okay? 
um, we keep it as affordable as much as possible. So, ang babayaran nyo po lang po dyan is um, tampo-tampo na lang po tayo. Uh, tampuhan, um, ewan ko, tampo, di ba tampo yung term sa Tagalog niyan? Tampuhan. Iba, dalawang meaning, no? Di ba? Um, mag-share na lang tayo. English ko na lang para wag na sumakit ang ulo ko. Mag-share na lang tayo for the venue, for the snacks, and at least yung airfare ko na lang po at saka stay dyan. So, highest it can go is around 1,000 pesos but it's around cheapest at around 500 to 1,000 pesos but definitely it's gonna be a very good event for you guys um Nikolai Resurrection hindi pa natin na discuss we're gonna be discussing it at 8.20 I'm just going through the comments of everyone um good morning sir ano po insights kay PPG we just talked about it Annelin good morning how about DMW thanks DMW one of my favorite stocks out there still doing well as a company um, DMW um, so I recommended DMW here we talked about DMW na anytime soon mag, mag, uh, ano, magbabounce na siya nagbounce nga siya so this is the pullback we're waiting for it just broke its downtrend any bounce soon is a confirmation of a good price action for DMW. Pag nag-bounce yan, definitely a buy si DMW. I think it's gonna bounce today. So, check it out. Property stocks are gonna be hot for today most probably. So, tingnan natin if mag-bounce yan. Pag nag-bounce yan, definitely, Annalyn, pwede mo pasukin yan. Land, 17. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck po si PIP. Uy, PIP. Recommended PIP two days ago. No, no, no. When did I recommend PIP? Was that uh, on this day, right? It was on this day. So I recommended PIP on this day. That was one, two, three. Three days ago. And then umakit siya. And then there it is. 52 week high. Good volume for PIP. Congratulations sa mga pumasok when I recommended it. But today, yung mga gustong pumasok, meaning naiinggit na po kayo. Wag na po, right? We already gave you a good entry here. Dapat noon tayo pumasok. Hindi ngayon na nakalipad na po yan. That's already a missed opportunity. You might say, Sir Lloyd, eh, kasi breakout po yan. I don't like these kinds of breakouts which are happening at the top. Okay lang yan kung breakout kung dito sa baba. Diba? Dito sa baba. Pero yan, 52 hik high na yan. Na breakout. So I don't wanna recommend it. Alright? We'll wait for the pullback and bounce. Let's see if it will continue the trend. I think it will. Pero kasi healthy yung volume niya lately. So, antay lang tayo ng pullback and bounce for PIP. Tommy Escobedo, good morning coach. Early po yata tayo ngayon. Yes, meron akong seminar later kasi eh, na dadaluhan. I'm gonna be a student again today. Right? Um, sa dami-dami kong seminars na um, hinandel. Ano, ano naman tayo ngayon? Studyante naman tayo ngayon. Alright, it's gonna be a very beautiful seminar. Personality development, how to improve everything. Uh, in your life as a seminar so if I learn something and um, worth sharing definitely I'll be sharing it to you guys okay napakaganda kasi na opportunity it's an international speaker uh, very known abroad about these kinds of seminars so I, I grabbed the opportunity to join it um, and then share natin sa, to everyone sa lahat ng mga Pilipino na hindi naka-join yung matututunan natin um LHC po and AGI. Let's check out LHC. Ayan, si LHC, pinabay ko na kayo nyo dito. Dito pa lang, pinabili ko na sa inyo. Si LHC, budagahin nyo po yan habang yan. There it is, we have a good price action bounce already. I'd say it's still a buy for today. And then AGI. Wait. Downtrend pa kasi nakikita ko AGI eh. Let's see if it, hindi pa siya gumagawa ng higher high. So, it's gonna be challenging. But pen, if mag bounce si AGI today, that is gonna be a good support for AGI. We can test that out aggressively habang hindi pa siya nagbe-break out. You can test by there for AGI. Okay, Narisa, MacRecord. Hello po, pag bumili pa ng stocks from IPO, may lock up time po ba yan? Or pwede mo na isell ka agad during the first market day? Pwede mo na isell ka agad on the first market day. John Elver Arroyo, good morning po sir. Web Tugs Meg po, thank you. Um... Web tags Meg po. Thank you. Web. We're gonna be talking about web today. One of my recommendations. Si Meg then. Si Tugs naman. Um, si Tugs nagpo-pullback pa, di ba? Alright. So, we're expect we were expecting this pullback from Tugs. But we already are starting to get the support. Um, siguro pag nag-green yan. That's a good entry point for Tugs today. Okay. Hafa Adai. Good morning. From Macau. Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Hafa. Alan Cruz, sir. 
nag IPO first day wala nang limit sa price first day wala po bang limit sa price to alam ko meron eh ceiling lang yan eh pag nasa market na ceiling lang every day meron po eh, yan po yung ano niya uh, unless na kakabalik nilang from suspension which is a long time suspension around 3 years I wanna review the rules I forgot about that Juvie sir um, anyone here who knows the answer to this question please answer Alan Cruz pag IPO po ba first day wala po mang limit sa price ang alam ko may limit eh right ang alam ko may limit Juvie sir inside sa DMW just keep buying DMW that's a good company still doing well even until today Joshua Rentuza hi sir inside kay Seb sir Let's check out CEB. Okay lang ba? Okay lang ba ang audio and everything? Alright. Um, CEB. Ayun. Look at that. Perfect MA20 bounce. Dapat dito natin inabangan to. Diba? Now we talked about this MA20. One of my favorite na mga technical analysis. Mga nagpa-bounce dyan sa MA20. So, right now, we're nearing resistance already. So, I cannot recommend CEB. Dapat dito nyo hinuli sa MA20 bounce. Those who haven't checked... My video about moving average 20 please go to youtube and then search for lloyd bazaar then moving average 20 and so the moving average 20 in trading check it out okay um check it out that's gonna be very beneficial for you one of my favorite technical analysis and it works well in the especially in uptrend stocks not work doesn't work all the time but it really helps okay um kay Seb medyo nakalipad na si Seb right uh, na discuss na sir yung Meg hindi pa coach morning pa snipe naman si SSI and MRC SSI right si SSI Okay, nay. Right, we talked about SSI. I told you this is a good price action. And then there it is. We were waiting for a breakout. Like breakout na si SSI. So, pwede nyo po pasukin yan sa mga nag-aabang kay SSI. There's a good spike in the volume also. Um, so, yeah. Um, SSI is good to go sa mga medyo na risky na for that for them. Wait, wait for the pullback and bounce. Up to you. Kung ano po ang gusto nyo gamitin na strategy. Um, aggressive ones, pwede nang mag-breakout strategy. Um... Ambagan, yun, ambagan. <laughs> From Nikolai Resurrection. And ambagan lang tayo, ambag-ambag. For the event on September 29. Okay? Um, most probably, yung I'm Hotel sa Makati ba yun? Correct me if I'm wrong. Hindi sa Makati. Nakalimutan ko saan yung I'm Hotel sa Manila eh. I'm Hotel Manila. Is it in Makati? Um, Makati Hotel in downtown Yeah, sa Makati nga Makati nga yung not, um, I'm Hotel So most probably We're gonna be uh, We're gonna be Doing it there again Dun po yung last natin venue The last time I visited Manila for a seminar Mark Benson Ong Seb We just talked about Seb Nicolay Resurrection Thank you sir Right, first time Ni magpronounce ng name Konan Tama <laughs> Hindi ko na, na, na nga maalala paano ko in-announce eh. Nikolai? Resurrection? Right? Um, Alfie, James Egia. Ambag-ambag daw. Tagalog sa tampo-tampo, Sir Lloyd. Ma Ayon, Bisaya pala yung tampo-tampo. Right? So, ambag ambagan sa Tagalog. Right? Alvin, Arvin Tikar. Morning, Sir. Ano po pwede mangyari kay Finn? Finn, Desara Finn. Like, All-time high si Finn kapon, di ba? All time high yesterday, but did the pullback right away. Pero ang ganda ng volume. MA20, look at that. MA20, MA20. Right, so, yeah, get in your MA20 as much as you can. Hopefully, MA20 holds. Buti naman itong pullback ka agad para sa mga gustong pumasok. At least, bigyan kayo ng MA20 entry. Okay, make sure you plan your risk. I usually cut loss below that MA20. So, pag nabreak yan ng 3% below MA20, I usually cut my losses. The, the David David Jesus David Jesus paano po mag-register sa September 29 I'm gonna be posting a link um, in the group sa Billionaire's Club in my Facebook page how to register right only 100 seats will be available um, pag sumobra si Itoro na ang pababayarin ko so don't worry if ever sumobra man mas maganda pag sumobra mas maraming ma-educate the better okay nga lang ang bagan lang tayo okay um, magpo-post ba ako ng registration link pinakamatagal na po this weekend right abangan nyo po so please follow follow my Facebook page and 
The Billionaires Club. Magpo-post po ako doon. Eh, uh, and also September 12, right? September 12 sa mga marunong na mag-trade ng position trading sa mga students ko. Um September 12, Mr. Jed Villa Villardo, right? Yung day trader natin sa team ito of Philippines. He's gonna be trading, doing day trade. He's gonna do day trading live. Papakita niya po sa inyo paano siya mag-day trade live. Ayan ha, live po 'yan in Itoro. Okay, paano siya kumikita? Maybe he will be losing that day, but at least he will share to you how his setup is. Right? Day trading is very risky. There will be days that you will lose big, but if you're good, marerecover mo lang mo naman yan the next couple of days. But the, the thing is, you have to stick to your system. Just keep sticking to your system. There will be days na mamamax out ka, uy, ubos ang pera ko today, so walang kita. The next day, laki naman ang kita, mas malaki pa sa nalus mo, so bumabawi. Ganun po ang day trading. And he's gonna show you that day how his setup works. Cannot assure you if he wins that day, but usually he does. <laughs> Meron ding araw na talo, and pang talo ka sa day trading, grabe rin naman ang talos, ta talo mo parang kasino yan pag naubos pera mo oh, tigil ka na and then pag day trading ka pag no, nananalo ka and endless naman right parang ganun yung day trading so he show you malupit yan day trading live right he's gonna be risking his name <laughs> maraming magbas dyan uy talo but he wants everyone to learn his system and that's gonna be for free free lang tayo dyan on September 12 11 in the morning right sa Billionaires Club or Team Itoro Pilipinas, ready your Itoro accounts, right? Because um, the day trading system is gonna be showing to you is using his Itoro account. So hopefully may Itoro na rin kayo. Ang ganda po mag day trade sa Itoro. Medyo mahirap sa Pilipinas. Maganda sa Itoro kasi may short selling. Uh, pwede kang bumawi and uh, hedge your trade by shorting para makabawi ka. Um, that's a strategy. Also, pinakamaganda kasi sa day trading is um you can limit your losses in a day right for example ang gusto mong i-day trade budget is $100 lang in a day or yung iba pa nga is $20 lang eh pwede $50 lang because you can do leveraging pag natalo yung $50 mo exit ka na pero pag nanalo ang laki naman ng panalo ganun ang day trading very exciting uh, very exciting profession so if you wanna learn how to do it um, join the September 12 seminar And for those who cannot join Don't worry, it's gonna be recorded naman. Please create an eToro account using my link. May link po ako dyan sa video description. Um, please use that. That helps the channel a lot. Yeah, that is why we're able to do these free live seminars because of that. Uh, so please support us by yun. Yun lang hinihingi namin. Create an eToro account using my using our link. Um, ano pa ba gusto sabihin? Promotion sa mga nag magpa-fund ng account sila for the first time this September. There's a promotion link in the video description. Next Monday, we're gonna be giving out four winners of 2,500 each. So, yan. Talo, talo, ata, Sir Lloyd, hindi tampo. Wait. Sa Cebuano kasi yung tampo. Mark, Adrian, Adriano, good morning, Sir Lloyd. When po kayo mga pagkaroon ng seminar sa Cebu and ilang araw po usually yung seminar? Short lang yung seminar. Four hours, uh, minsan five hours, pinaka, pinaka mahaba. Because it's already advanced and I already have this coaching system which is very fast and very efficient na right Sean Forsey good morning Sir Lloyd nagpagkatlos ako sa CHP confirm na kaya na downtrend ito CHP let's check out CHP it's 8.24 so we need to check uh, we need to start our topic already okay si CHP one of the reason why hindi ko siya recommend because of this um yeah uh, most probably it's gonna be starting a trend downtrend bakit Because mag FOO sila, so more stock supplies out there. That's gonna make the stock heavy, na naman. So konting ingat po sa CHP muna. Sadly, yun that's the stock market. It happens. Biglang may lumalabas na news. So malas at swerte lang natin pag ganyan. Swerte ko noon nung about kay PHA, di ba? Laki ng gains natin. Pero swerte lang yun na may lumabas na news. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. When po kayo magkakaroon? Nam binasa ko na. Ayong buntag Sir Lloyd from Noel Redulia Jerson Ulsar, ISM po Sir Lloyd Salamat po, ISM On the bounce po kayo bumili Lodi PPG po, uh, we talked about PPG uh, Shout out po sa asawa ko Na nasa New Zealand Erickson, ay si From Michelle, Juvi Juvi Now po Sir Lloyd, thanks again um, Si Now, narecommend ko yan um, On the green So, hopefully this will be a support That you can, uh, that will That will, ano, that will what do you call this um, that will sustain the growth for now um, namin naipit dito 
uh, I don't think Rao's gonna rally ngayon na medyo umiinit si ISM. So, let's see what will happen. Okay, let's go to the topic first. Si Pogo, right? Sa mga hindi alam what Pogo, what the Pogo issue is, ganito po kasi yan. Si China urged the Philippines to ban offline gaming industry or companies or operations. Um, offline gaming meaning yung mga casino na I amin mean offshore na online gaming. Alright. Offshore meaning wala sa China kasi bawal sa China yan. So, ang ginawa ng mga inchik, <laughs> punta sila ng Pilipinas na allow ng casino na online and then dito sila nag-operate. So, yung mga inchik sa China, online na sila nagkakasino ngayon. And the operation, majority of, the, many of the operation is being done here in the Philippines. Kaya nagalit si China kasi parang walang effect yung ginawa nilang law sa China na iban yon kasi may loophole. Right? That's why China approached President Duterte to stop the offshore operations of these online casinos. Why? Because, number one, laking pera ang lumalabas sa China because of that. Instead, nag-igastos ng mga tao doon sa China para mag-ikot, mag-ikot lang ang pera nila, sila makinabang. Hindi po. Dito po sa Pilipinas, lumalabas ang pera and many are enjoying it here. Yung mga empleyado nila, the businessmen here, and the industry here, yung mga rinirentahan nila ng mga offices, di ba? So, Pilipinas ang nakikinabang. That's why they wanna stop it. That's one reason, yung pera. Number two is, um yung conditions kasi daw ng mga inchik na nagtatrabaho sa mga Pogo Industries is p- pretty much the new age slavery. Napaka- napakawawa daw ng mga empleyado. Um, so, yun po yung isa sa rason ng pinapastop nila. And number three is illicit activities. Dito, gina- dito ginagastos ng mga tao yung mga drug money nila sa gambling and everything. So, it's creating a bad uh, bad practice in Chi- for Chinese. That's why they want, they urge President Duterte for it to be stopped. When that happened, when that news came out na ipapastop ni China, property stocks, like, number one, pinakamalaki si Mega World kasi si Mega World yung pin- may pinakamalaking property na pinaparentahan for these offshore gaming um, operations. So, isa si Meg ang bumagsak. 27% we just uh, we just uh, went from the news. So, we just checked that out earlier. So, yun. Now, that's was, that was because of the scare. Kaya, uh, jittery yung mga investors ng labasan. Kaya, ang, ang stocks ni Meg bumagsak. President Duterte announced yesterday that he will not be stopping the Pogo. At least, right now. Hindi niya pipigilin. Bakit? Because it's already a, what you call this, naka-establish na yun na industry eh. And if bigla mong puputulin yan, ang daming taong biglang mawawala ng trabaho, ang daming companies na biglang mapupugutan ng income. Right? So, President Duterte did not want this, did not give in to China's demands na stop ito. At the very least right now. Most probably, ang mangyayari niyan is slow cut, dahan-dahan, wag biglaan. Most probably. But that's still good news. Um, hindi naman natin alam kung ikakat talaga but the news right now is just hindi niya po itutuloy uh, hindi niya po uh, he won't give in to the news of I mean the demands of China so yeah um, with that most probably the stocks that were affected are gonna recover so I hope naintindihan niyo po yung Pogo issue and why are the property stocks are affected and how it should recover uh, how the market should recover with the news okay so with that Yung mga recommendations ko for today, I want you to watch out for the property stocks, especially si Meg, SMPH, um, Gaming, si Web, and DMC, and DD. Alright, these are my recommendations for today. So, those are the property stocks na gusto ko pong panoorin ninyo. And then, other stocks aside from Progo, and dyan po sa comments, those are the buy signals for today. Um, number one, si Meg, um, this will go beyond technical analysis, okay? Hindi na ito with technical analysis this is news driven so i think meg is gonna go up today i did recommend meg a few days back so congratulations sa mga bumili na kay meg okay smph already also recommended smph yesterday isa rin to sa makikinabang for that um si web naman mas lalakas ang industry nila nauna na si web umakyat so yeah i think web is still gonna go up use this breakout as your entry point for web Kung gusto niyo po pumasok kay Web, napakamura pa rin po ni Web. Right? 329. That's still good 
to Bodega. Um, DMC, right? Isa rin sa DMC. Right? We are already seeing increased volume in buying in DMC at this level. So, I guess the DMC is gonna be going up today. And then, DD, Double Dragon. Uh, isa rin yan sa mga property stocks. Uh, most gonna be, most probably will be affected also. So, yeah. Look out for these stocks. Okay? Nakita nyo po yung chart. Hindi ko na-share yung chart. Sorry. So, yeah. Um... And si DD, SMPH. And nasa support si Web. Uh, use this breakout right here. And then sino pa ba? Meg and SMPH. And so those are the property stocks I want you to look out for. Aside from that, here are the stocks to look out for today. GSMI, I'm going to be recommending GSMI. My my bounce uh, spike na po tayo for GSMI. So I did recommend GSMI here and it's holding on to that already so yeah i think gsmi should recover anytime soon okay next kay gsmi is food si gsmi is as paborito ko today and food let's say food then um we have good confirmation of pullback and bounce for food so does this good price action for food i guess this has bottomed out already double bottom for food and there's the start of the rise of food so technical analysis wise okay na siya um, MRSGI MRSGI Yeah, nagko-confirm pa rin ng support So I'm still recommending MRSGI At the support CNPF CNPF Century Pacific Double bottom for your, I mean, triple bottom for, for Century Pacific And this is already with divergence Very good company Very consistent company Tingnan nyo po yung earnings niya Every quarter po Positive po yan Including last year So very good performance I don't see any reason why CNPF should do bad in the coming days and it's been very cheap for the for the longest time already right so napakamura na po CNPF dapat binobodega na natin to CNPF the next is FPH right so FPH first Philippine holdings price action is already very good for FPH I think this is gonna do well we have a support right here may confirmation po tayong support dyan so FPH is good to buy for me then lastly si IRC one of my favorites for today we have an inverted head and shoulder right i hope you under you know this pattern diba may pattern tayo na bearish signal which is head and shoulder this is the shoulder this is the head and this is the shoulder so what you do is you short sell here diba pag nag red yan because this is a bearish signal ito naman kabaliktaran inverted head and shoulder ito yung shoulder ito yung head so that's also a reversal signal and i think paakyat na si IRC okay so IRC is, has a good very good confirmation for today it's safe to say IRC is gonna be a good buy already and we have a very good support at this area for IRC those are my recommendations for today we still have time we need to stop at around um, 8.45 po so I'll do my best to answer all the questions and entertain all the questions so we can um ISM, antay lang tayo ng bounce kay ISM, okay? Um, Nag-pull back agad si ISM after a very strong climb yesterday. That was to be expected. Ang dami na FOMO. So, antay lang tayo ng next bounce ni ISM. That is the best entry point for those. Especially sa mga, ano, especially sa mga investors. Okay. Um, PPG, pa shout out sa sawa ko. Juvi, C, please, Sir Lloyd. Yan, si C, same with C. Uh, Joe Legares, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning then. Uh, kumusta natin si C, si C umakyat kahapon then bumaba rin kagad sumabay kay ano eh but there's volume in this so yeah um, pag nag break out yan si C from that um, ascending triangle then that's a good entry point hindi lang siya nagsustain yesterday but if it breaks out today use a breakout strategy for C then or po Sir Lloyd good morning from Oka Vidal si or nag spike then because of the nickel issue then this is the pullback we're waiting for antay lang tayo ng bounce for or nagbounce siya near MA20 eh doon doon sana natin pinasok right um Shamir Bulut sa so Gio po kaya si Gio Gio Race Resources after this spike eh nagsuspike sila dahil sa issue ni Nickel diba so here hmm breakout lang breakout for that from that flag pattern at least for Gio 
Uh, I'm Hotel in Makati from Rancy Corrigi. Yes, nasa Makati po yun. Sa Makati po, Sir Lloyd, ang I'm Hotel. PHA or on ATN po, Sir Lloyd. ATN, I did recommend ATN yesterday. So far, so good. The MA20 is holding. So, I'm recommending ATN at MA20. PHA, PHA, medyo shaky. Pero breakout. If ever gusto niyo pumasok pa kay PHA. Si Or, we just covered it. Eric, 01208. Good morning. Arjel Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like, good morning then. Yes po, tama, madalas. Nicoli Tawag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makati Avenue lang. I'm I'm here with the Lapit Samin. We'll go there sa seminar definitely. Uh, see you there. All right, Sin Lord, Sir Meg, a chance to go up since the territory will not ban Pogo. Thanks, Sir Lloyd. Yes, definitely. Very strong chance to go up today. So, congratulations sa mga nakahawak kay Meg. I did recommend Meg na magbodega na. PXP po. Si PXP naman, I'm kind of shaky kay PXP kasi ano si PXP eh? This is rumor driven kasi eh. But PXP, if we check out Fibonacci, we are resting at a very good um, bounce for PXP. Nakita nyo po, this is 0.50 bounce. This is the golden bounce area. So hopefully, this will sustain. Kung gusto nyo pong pasukin si PXP, this is a good bounce. Pag nagbreak yan, then that means it's a reversal. So PXP, pwede nyo po testing in. I just don't want to recommend it because it's rumor driven. Uni Nani, good morning Sir Lloyd Primex, Aba, si Primex Nag-pullback na Alright, so This pullback was to be expected Antay tayo sa MA20 ulit MA20 bounces, look at that, perfect MA20 bounces Those were the best entry points um, Aba Abang ng, ayun Si Aba nag-bounce na yesterday So yes, this is a good price action for Aba uh, Get in near this bounce as much as possible For Aba Um, Ani, si Ani nagpa-flag pattern yun eh. Okay? So, Ani Get in here this uptrend line or breakout for Ani. Okay? Um, tignan nyo po sa patterns ninyo itong pattern na ito on, on how to trade that uh, kind of pattern. Then si Or, we just covered that already. Joshua Valenzuela Morning Sir Lloyd, lakas pa din ng foreign buying ni Nickel, taas pa din kaya most probably will pero um, yung mga nickel holders or yung mga gustong pumasok kay nickel please make sure you know what you're doing there is momentum still very good signals on momentum it's playing above MA20 foreign buying pa rin sa nickel so yes it may still go up today pero only if you know what you're doing this is momentum trading level so if you know how to momentum trade check it out for today if not if you don't know what you're doing Wag na lang po. Okay, wag na lang po. Wag niyo na lang po pipilitin. Nikolai, uh, I mean, meron ko question dito. Kenneth, Dio Cariza, nadaanan ko lang sa I'm Hotel from work to home and back every day. Alright, that's good to know. Thank you so much. RLB Holding, Sir Lloyd, Insights kay Tel, GMA7, ABS, pwede, pwede din po, pwede ba i-long term? Um... Tel, mukhang mahirapan pa tayo kay Tel sabihin kung pwede ba i-long term to kasi mga nag-long term nito long term ipit din so I cannot say if it's good for long term I don't think it is GMA7, especially now na mga may third Tel ko so mas kukunti pa yung mga nahirapan nga sila ngayon na sila yung may-ari uh, halos um, nag, nag, may-ari ng lahat ng mga Pinoy when it comes to telco eh, diba? so what if meron pang third telco na mas mura pa sa kanila so bababa pa ang sales nila number two, kukundi pa ang mga clients nila so that's gonna be hard for tel I don't wanna recommend it for long term GMA7 has been doing sideways I cannot recommend GMA7 for long term for price action pero um, historically speaking div dividends investment for, for GMA7 If you're into that, yes, maganda po ang dividends ni, uh, ni GMA7. Sige, hawakan nyo lang po ito kasi mura naman siya. Mababawi nyo naman po yan for the dividends na binibigay ni GMA7. ABS, recommended ABS doon sa baba dito. And then there it is, nagpo-pullback na. I cannot recommend ABS for long term also. Nikolai, sa itoro ba pwede din mag-day trade sa local stock market or forex lang yon. Hindi po pwede sa local stock market. Um, ang pwede kay Itoro is international stocks, especially the blue chips, large cap companies lang. Um, commodities, napakagandang i-day trade. Si gold, um, oil, those two are very good to day trade. Uh, pwede siyang forex, pwede siyang crypto. 
uh, indices and pwede rin funds. Meron sila mga available funds that you can invest in. For example, this fund that I strongly recommend um, kapon nga pala, bumili ako na Amazon. Uh, for those who are copying me, I'm testing the waters kasi medyo nag, medyo natahimik pa si Trump. So yeah, uh, one of the funds that I strongly recommend for you guys is food and drinks. Food and drinks, ito po, $2,000 po ang minimum investment dito. But if you invested in this company since the start of this year, right? Up 28% na po sana ang pera ninyo kaysa sa mga funds dito. If you're looking for funds, UITF and every, or anything, just go for eToro. Um, this is my favorite fund. I strongly recommend food and drinks. Okay? Um, kasi ang ganda ng mga companies under this portfolio, if you wanna check it out, Coke, Pepsi, McDo, Starbucks, General Mills, Domino's, Pizza. These are, uh, these are very um, consistent companies when it comes to earnings. Um, next, oh nga pala guys, again, June 12, we have a live coaching, day trading seminar uh, sa Billionaires Club. It's either gonna be in the Billionaires Club or maybe we'll just it into Team Itoro Pilipinas. Prepare your Itoro accounts, right? Um, pwede po kasi uh, when you create an Itoro account, there's gonna be virtual trading here. So when you practice the day trade that we're gonna be teaching you go to your virtual portfolio and dito nyo po testing okay creating an account is free okay creating an account is free importante po dito nyo po testing kasi when you buy a stock part of the uh, part of the seminar that we're gonna be teaching you is um leveraging okay leverage how to use leverage in day trading this is very important in day trading wala po sa philippines itong leveraging kaya medyo mahirap po mag day trade sa philippines so please create an eToro account as early as now. It's cr creating one is free. You don't have to put money in it. Once once you create an eToro account using my link, meron po diyang virtual portfolio. You just click on this bar um uh, drop down menu under your name and then you can do with the virtual port. So yung ituturo po namin sa inyo, ma-practice niyo po sa eToro. Okay? It's going to be free for you guys. Um next up I want to say is and um Jose B good morning sir boss Lloyd insights with EW MBT AGI Holcim thanks so EW yeah um this is a pullback for east west we're we're expecting this pullback we've been I've been recommending east west here in a pullback na siya um, next bounce the east west will be the best entry point for east west okay um EW next ka EW asanako MBT, si MBT we are very cheap with Metro Bank right now so I'm recommending ibodega niyo po si Metro Bank. Right? Especially pag nag green yan today, that's going to be a very good confirmation. From Bollinger Band is saying that prices are very stable already, napaka constricted niya na. So that's a solid support right there. You you want to check it out. Uh AG, MBT AGI. Si AGI na cover na natin. Um an a bounce ni AGI pwede niyo po i-testing yan uh, Holsim si Holsim ayan uh, use the ME20 hopefully mag, mag hold yung, ni, kay, yung ME20 kay Holsim medyo mataas na kasi si Holsim eh. don't really wanna recommend it since uh, there's very strong resistance in Holsim already that's why I haven't been recommending Holsim Cecil Pange good morning Sir Lloyd web ulit po may bounce siya kahapon yes uh, I'm recommending web today because of the pogo isa sa mga affected na stocks na una na siya kahapon. Jose Marie Tuazon, good morning. Happy thoughts, Sir Lloyd. JFC po. Si JFC on the bounce, you can enter JFC pag nag-bounce yan. Uh, others, uh, mas conservative, will be on a breakout for JFC. Nag-break na siya na ME20 so that's a good signal for JFC already na. Nag-stabilize na siya. Um, Mr. M, maganda na mapasukin si PHA, na-cover na natin to. Uh, on the breakout from this slug pattern for PHA, that will be a good signal. GG, good morning. Wait, ang dami pa palang comments. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd, saan po kayo nanonood? Nagbabasa na upload ng news? Any site po? Hindi ako gaano nag-upload ng news eh. Alright, uh, for PSE, uh, you can go, um, for PSE, pwede po kayong bumunta sa, um, Ito yung ginagamit ko for, ano eh, for international market si Fly on the Wall eh. The Fly on the Wall. Kaso nga lang may bayad ito. But very updated when it comes to news. So, it's a good investment for those who want to be trading. 
Um, billionario.com is good for you know billionario.com is a good website for is it billionario.ph or billionario.com.ph pala so this is a good business news you can check out okay so updated po yan coach good morning insights po kay Meg Ali and SMPH uh, those are my recommendations for today si Ali pwede niyo pong tignan especially the property stocks today okay hindi ko lang sinali si Ali but yeah definitely Ali might be affected also Gio and DNL Gio covered it natin si DNL bodegahin nyo lang po yan whenever it dips just keep buying DNL that's a very good company so you're gonna be winning that way PPG Lodi na cover na natin from Michelle Ronald Ray Soto Sir Lloyd about CHP will it continue to go drop because of SRO I believe it will chart is saying us na mababa pa sa CHP it's been volatile on the downside yan at touch yung lower Bollinger Band usually that's an indicator na babagsak pa siya so let's see for further price action Juvie Sir Lloyd may tumawag sa akin yesterday about eToro nag-open kasi ako ng account under your link talaga po bang may ka-call after mag-open ng account from China yes tama po yan because um, just like here kung gusto mag-open kayo ng ano ng account na i-call diba kay Call Financial diba dapat mag-Skype kayo dapat magita kayo um, for for eToro tatawagan lang nila kayo that's a no no KYC no your customer process which is which is needed that's regulated so kailangan po silang tumawag talaga sa inyo Lawrence Adrian Espina how to do you buy when a stock breaks out from 52 week high but you missed wait for a tight consolidation break or wait or what thanks idol I don't like buying companies that are doing 52 week high number one the rule the basic rule in stock is buy cheap and then sell expensive the fact that it's doing 52 week high meaning it's already expensive okay so as much as possible i wait for pullbacks and bounces at me 20 or wherever it bounces on a breakout kung gusto niyo po yung breakout strategy jan you have to be very quick that where you have to sell right away when you see a ano when you see a uh, when you see a a weakness okay it's either a breakout i don't usually recommend a breakout i i always recommend pullbacks from the top okay or it will it will pull back and then confirm the breakout line right mark andrew danila salamat sir lloyd good morning thank you you're welcome fli sir lloyd most probably is gonna go up today because of the pogo also um property stocks right isa to sa mga bumagsak dahil sa pogo so um, FLI might recover. This is a very good position for FLI. Um, if you can, if I want, if I can add FLI to the recommendations, why not? Elizabeth Sanchez, good morning, Lloyd. What do you, what to do po kung nasa 31 na ang loss mo sa isang stock? Right, very good question. It's 849. Um, sige, uh, last two question lang. Okay, um, Elizabeth, last ko i-sagutin ang question mo. Right, I have a video about this. Um, but I'll give you a uh, clearer explanation today. Sin Lord, last question lang. Sir, sa eToro, kung may mabili 1.5 units ng Samsung sa eToro, wala bang fees pag naglo-long term si FDA at tatawag doon? Wala, wala pong fees as long as hindi mo po i-leverage at hindi mo po i-short sell. Normal buying, wala pong charges yan. Okay. Um... Lemon Advent, we'll use that as a topic tomorrow. Yung basic strategy sa breakout. That's a very good question. Sige, sulat ko po yan. Yan po yung pag-usapan natin bukas. Um, breakout strategies. Okay. So yeah. Um, yan, ang question kanina is, 31% na ako uh, loss sa isang stock. So I wanna go zoom in para intense. All right, so still have time naman. Number one is, ganito yan, pag ipit ka sa isang stock, tatlo lang naman pwede mong gawin, di ba? It's either you buy more, di ba? Bili ka naman ng more, averaging down. That's the first action you can do. Number two is, you can sell it. Right? Ibenta mo na lang to cut your losses. And then, do nothing. Those are the three actions. Um, wala lang gagawin kasi wala, na akong, uh, wala akong ganang bumili dyan, bilhin ko lang na ibang stock. That's possible, right? So, those are the three actions. Now, 
the answer of those is kung anong gagawin mo is it depends on what the reason is why the stock is going down. Okay? For example, sila Meg bumagsak, sila FLI bumagsak. The uh, the perfect action is it depends on what is causing for the stock price to go down. There are only two reasons why a stock price is gonna go down. Number one is bad company performance. Pag pangit ang, mar um, pag pangit ang performance ng company, most probably it's gonna drop and it's gonna drop and it's gonna drop. Like Shell PH, um, Shell PH Picor, like sila uh, PLDT, TEL, di ba? Pag um, si CHP, nung bumagsak, nung bumagsak siya. So if pangit ang performance ng company, and that's the reason why the stock prices are, um, are going down, the, uh, the, the action, the perfect action you should do is sell the stocks. Benta nyo na. Right? Why? Benta nyo po kasi number one, you don't know when the stock is gonna recover. Ang nangyari kay CHP, from 12 pesos, doon pa siya nag-recover sa piso dos. Diba? So, titiisin mo yun from 10, 12, nasa 10 ka na. So, laki na ng talo mo. So, tiniis mo pa hanggang dos. Right? We don't even know kung nag... Uh, kailan siya magre-recover at dos pa or piso or may, may, may baka 50 centavos. So, ang laki ng talo mo dyan. Now, that's why, uh, number two is, buti ko makapag-recover. What if the company doesn't recover at all? Kahit hindi, po, hindi natin malalaman yan. What if mag-bankruptcy yung company? Patay tayo. That's the reason why you sell. If the, if the reason why it's dropping is because of bad company performance. Okay? Number two reason bakit babagsak ang price is market sentiments. Pangit lang market, bearish ang market, or medyo overpriced na siya kaya bumagsak ang presyo. Or eto, may bad news kay Meg, kay FLI, um, because of the Pogo. So market sentiments, right? If the reason why it's going down and ipit ka, and if it's market sentiments ang rason, you don't have to sell it, Okay? Kasi ta laki na natalo mo, best is just to hold it and then buy more. Best action is to buy more for these companies. For example, sina DNL, kaya ako sinasabi sa inyo, magbodega ng ganitong stock. Magbodega kay Meg, magbodega kay DNL. Ganyan, may bodega kay Tags. Because these companies are good and it will recover. Right? If the reason why it dropped is because market sentiments, sentiments are gonna reverse anytime soon if give, if the market is given a very good price right if you buy more then you will be earning better kaysa wala kang ginawa diba so last action mo lang pwedeng gawin is do nothing when do you do nothing kailan kaya walang gagawin the only time you do nothing is kung wala ka ng pera <laughs> ano pa paano ka magbabay more kung wala ka ng pera diba so what we do is we just do nothing, right? I have a video which is a better action for doing a uh, better action compared to doing nothing, right? Um, let me open my YouTube channel. So search for Lloyd Bazaar and averaging down, averaging down. Okay, so search for this video uh, that has a thumbnail. I didn't cut loss help. How to average down without adding money in stocks? Look for this video. This is gonna be very helpful for you. I thought uh, I was teaching here. Paano ka mag-average down? No, pwede pa lang mag-average down na hindi magdadagdag ng pera. Pwede ba yun? Yes, it's possible. I am teaching this strategy to you guys. It is. This is one of my topics in my seminars. But you can watch it here. Um, just look for that video. Okay? It's better than doing nothing. So if it's a good company and the reason why it's going down is market sentiments lang eh wala ka ng pera pang average down this is the best action for you action plan for you okay watch out for uh, watch this video okay so um pasensya na guys uh, i really have to go somewhere i have to prepare it's gonna be a very important day for me hindi ko po masasagot lahat T tomorrow we're gonna be answering um we're gonna be talking about breakout strategies i'll make a program for that and abangan niyo po bukas and we're gonna be answering other questions please reserve your questions for tomorrow if may mga tanong ba kayo I hope you learned a lot for today reminders September 29 reserve the date at I'm hotel po yan most probably there's gonna be two session morning and afternoon pili lang po kayo um, and then September 12 on uh, this it's gonna be live right? it's gonna be day trading and scalping alam niyo po yung scalping 
scalping strategy, live trading po yun habang nagtatrade ng totoong market po magtuturo. Si Mr. Jed Villardo and our group is going to be uh, sharing every, it to everyone. So, check it out. Create an eToro account to prepare for it. Uh, create an eToro account using my link. And if magfa-fund po kayo this September, you are eligible for the promotion. We're giving out 8 winners of 2,500 pesos each. Mag-register lang po kayo dyan sa video description. Pag nakapag-fund na kayo, register to that para i-draw po natin next Monday po ang first 4 winners. See you tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Bye everyone. Pasensya na, konti lang oras natin ngayon.